this. We'll go straight to my room. That's right. The man in grey. Blame Craven. My coach broke an axle lady around. Hmm. Well, everybody go and get changed. I've half the young women in London waiting to meet you. They'll keep. Uh, don't run. Excuse me, Lady Mark. Oh, but I wish to present my godchild, Clarissa Richmond. The lovely Richmond, eh? Ah, oh, then you agree that the sobriquet is suitable? I should think there's about as much truth in it as the things they call you. Eh? What do you mean? The man in grey. It sounds like a ghost. Rest assured, I shall never haunt the lovely Richmond. All right, Gervais. You'll excuse us, Lord Craven. Uh, yes, of course. Give it to me. Who was it this time? Don't alarm yourself. There'll be no inquest. Who was it? Young Croxley. But he's only a boy. He's old enough to lampoon me. And skillful enough to pierce you. The cub was drunk. I was careless. So you killed a drunken boy. Who dishonors us dies. Young Croxley had omitted to learn French. But why this sudden concern for me? I'm concerned only with the Rowans and their descendants. When a man has as many enemies as you have, the question of an heir, a lawful heir, becomes pressing. So I must select a brood mare. You like to call her that? No doubt your father used the same terms. About you? Of course. And who are to be the runners in these birthday stakes? Every eligible thoroughbred. Whose virtue is beyond question. Naturally. I could cherish a wicked woman. I'd shield and protect her from any suspicion of virtue. <laughs> no doubt. Now, there are three excellent possibilities. Caroline Punsonby, Mary Somerton, and Clarissa Richmond. A grisly array of girlish innocence. <laughs> 